Yeah. I hit record on that so it records the audio. Alright. Is it going? Yeah. Oh. Would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start it off with something better than that. Hi, I'm Josie. I'm Bregan. And I'm Josiah. I'm going to be asking Josiah over here some questions. Are you scared, excited? No. No. <laughs> Man's got no fear. <laughs> I'm going to start with one wreck. Um, what was your thoughts on running in state? I was very excited to go to state. Um, it was, when we got to state, it was mostly excited. I was very excited, and uh, we just hung out, and then the race came. I was nervous, and but I ran my best, so it's not. We were talking about a few days ago how, I think it was with Mrs. McNeil, about how the one time Mom, because he's my brother, by the way, uh, <laughs> the one time Mom told you to... What did she say? You can do this, or you got it, buddy, or something like that. You went, no. <laughs> no, I just grunted. Oh. And she was like, did he just grunt at me? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was running my hardest. I couldn't get anything said. So mm. You should really have these things planned out before <laughs> you start them. Um... What are what's your least favorite part about a race? Just any race. Um, it's about the two mile mark. You s I start dying, and then about the two and a half mile mark, I get the energy back to finish the race. Because I run only three point one seven mile races. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about a race? Finishing it. That's what Same. we all said. <laughs> Finishing it because you get the sense of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite course? Um, I really like Webster. It a lot of people hate it because it's got a lot of hills, but I like it because it's a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenging course, so it's not like it's just go run. It's make sure you conserve your energy on the way up. Mm. Mm-hmm. What's your least favorite one? Oh, least favorite is... We all said Falkton. <laughs> I know, I actually kind of like Falkton. Because it's another one of those yeah. really hilly courses. Um, I probably... Well, now it's the Westington Springs course, because they changed it up. But, That's what we said, too. <laughs> but before that, it was probably one of the flat courses. Like Miller? Eh, Miller's not Red too Field? bad, but I'd I'd say probably Iroquois or <laughs> one of those ones we didn't, did we that you guys didn't yeah. go to. Well, we went to them two years ago. There's a couple that are really flat that I don't like. Hmm. Where's the favorite? Where's well, like what is the favorite thing we do as a team for you? Going to eat. I knew he was going to say that. Yep. Um, what's your favorite thing to get when you go out to eat? Oh, that just depends on what, uh, where we're at. Like, going, like, when we went to Regions and I got, and I won, well, not won, when I figured I out, I went to State, and then we went to the Steakhouse, that was really good. Um... We always stop at either Subway or Dairy Queen, it seems. So it's always just about station. the same thing. Yeah, gas station. Gas station is probably my least favorite place to stop. Gas station pickles hit different after a race. <laughs> no, if we go to a gas station, I always get two things the same. And it's I get a raspberry brisk iced tea and a pack of smokehouse almonds. Blue Diamond smokehouse almonds. Every time. Um, what are your thoughts on the coaches? I like both coaches a lot. We brought them in here just, well, we brought Mrs. McNeil in here a few days ago. We were wondering what your thoughts on it were. Uh, well, I I really like both coaches. I think 
just because I've known her a little longer and we get along a little better, I like Miss McNeil better. But that's like I said, because I know I've known her longer and get along with her better. So. Because last year was wasn't that the first year we went combined? Yeah, last year was the first mm-hmm. year we combined. So it, I've only known Coach Boomsma for two, two years. years. Mm-hmm. And even at that, we never really practiced much. It, together, it was mostly uh, separate. Mm-hmm. So we'd only see her at meets. And, well, and you guys would. I wouldn't because I was playing football. Yeah. And What's your favorite and least favorite thing to hear, like, the crowd yell while you're running? Uh, least favorite is time or place. Mm-hmm. Like, what time I'm at or what place I'm in. Oh. Because I... The time just makes me want to slow down because I feel like I'm not going to make it in the time I want. And the yeah. place the place just makes me feel like I'm not doing good enough, so why try? Yeah. Um, favorite thing is probably just the yelling like Dad does. Yelling. Oh, like, just keep going. Right. Just yelling. Mm. Do so. you prefer to have people say uh, what, how much is left in the race? No. I hate that, too. Because it always feels like it's going to take forever. That's what. That's one of my least favorite things is when someone's like, you've only got a mile left, and I'm like, no, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Remember when you lost your shoe in Webster at Regions? I've actually lost my shoe twice. Once in Webster and once in Redfield. Uh, the first time I lost it, I w- it was my freshman year, I think. Maybe it was my so- maybe it was my sophomore. Both times, uh, I my shoe would come untied when I was in the middle of the race, and it just got loose and it slipped off. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. To r- it was. They were both about the same distance from the finish line to about 400 meters. He was looking for your shoe. That's why he brought it up. Yeah. yeah. And then Bo- you found it and I was still looking for it. Both times both times I lost it, it was just walk up and go get Grab it. Grab it? Because, I don't know, it seems like I pay more attention to things when I'm running versus when I'm not. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm more, I feel like, like you said, I kind of pay more attention to what's around me when I'm running because it keeps my mind off of I'm actually running. Like, right. just looking around and seeing, oh, look it, that tree has six leaves on the ground right next to it. <laughs> I I always pay more attention, and I always try to get a, so- a good song to run to stuck in my head before the race. So. Not the one that just yells, walk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> never back down, never what? <laughs> no. <laughs> You want to ask one of us a question for funsies? Did you just say no? Come on. Yes, I said no. Come on. How does it feel to not complete a race? I've completed a race. I have never not completed my race. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of Bethany. Bethany was the one that didn't complete. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Which one was that? Be- Bethany always ran good, though. Bethany ran good, but what, it was the one time she was having it's, so much trouble. It, her hip, after her hip surgery, she just constantly, no, well, so, not constantly, but, but she like, didn't finish many races. She was in pain. <laughs> yeah. Which which track was that? Uh, she didn't, f- I think she finished, or she finished at Redfield. Um, I don't think she f- I don't think she went to Westington Springs. Um, I don't remember. That might have been Gettysburg. She didn't finish on. You guys haven't been there. What are your that, feelings? That one's probably my least favorite course, and that's for one reason. Uh, either when I was a sophomore or freshman, we went and ran there, and uh, they made us run an extra thousand meters. A 6,000? Yeah, we did a 6,000. Jeez. And that was because it was only the guys, too. The guy that was running the golf cart, because they, they have a weird place where you got to go through trees, and then you cut off, and the a guy in the golf cart cuts 
cuts the path off so you don't go running down the path at the wrong time. And he didn't move in time, and so we had to run an extra 6,000 meters. Cause I, he, think, I think you told me He calculated me that. wrong. How much time do we have? It's a 9.24. So yeah. we got yeah, 30 we minutes till the class ends. Mm-hmm. Um, what are your feelings on when they put uh, cement or, like, uh, as not, like, asphalt or cement on, on a course? Or, like, gravel? Yeah. I always run to the side of it. Or I try to. I was going to say, it, when they have the... It hurts the, my feet. I legs. hate it when they put the flags right on the two sides of the cement, so you actually have to run on the cement. Well, like at Webster, when you come around that back curve and there's the flags to the one side of the cement... Yeah. You can, ru- you can run on the outside of the cement. I know. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just hate it when they're like... And certain flags you can run on the outside of. Yeah. I think it's the blue flags you can run on the outside of, and the red and yellow flags around the curves you gotta stay inside of. Yeah. Well, inside is relative depending on where you're turning. I personally hate it when it's like halfway through a race and there's only like three little blocks of cement. Like they don't do a lot of cement; they just do a little bit. Right. It's like the switching terrain. And so it's as and it's goes from you're running on grass and it's soft and it's kind of easier because, you know grass Mm -hmm. and then you go to like almost having shin splints because you switch that or like i always mess up my footing when i'm on cement i've got another question Hmm. what is your guys's favorite uh type of practice like running on the football field running around town running dump routes i like dump roads football field and then i i like this and it's the fun the weirdest thing ever i like the ones where we run the blocks and it's like two blocks tempo runs yeah. Mm. yeah, I like those, and then I like the football field dump road. Yeah, football field dump road. Are my dump road's favorite. more fun if it's like, um, if it's like a group of people, like a few of the practices. Yeah, See, me, Addy, you, I, Cambry, Cambry, and Reagan. Yeah, yeah. I always liked after Regions, I ran a five mile dump route. I went down to the dump road down out a mile and down to the highway mm-hmm. and back that was probably my favorite because i i like running without people around me versus with better i like running i like running with people around me in specific places because like i hate it when someone's running i hate it when someone's really close behind me in a race because half the time they step on my shoe um i've I've not had that happen. I've had people kick me. I've had people kick me, me, step on my shoe. I had one girl behind me that said she liked my socks. <laughs> I mean, you do wear weird socks on me, too. What do you have now? I got peppermints. Yeah, it's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> These ones have gingerbread on my feet. I always try to wear black socks. Black or white. I, yeah. mm-mm, I wear I, I wear duck socks. I wear in between when it's in between uh, Halloween and Christmas, or when it's in between something like that, or when it's getting close to Halloween and Christmas. I'll wear one Halloween sock and one Christmas sock. Yeah. Mhm. Just like how half the time I have toe socks on when I run. That's weird. I don't know how. Yeah, you do I don't that. know how you. It's actually it's almost more comfortable. If that makes sense. I don't know. Just the feeling of like... I t- oh, that was weird. I'm sorry. I, I would almost run barefoot through a race. Yeah. I, I feel like that would be good as long as there's no gravel. Or pine trees around. Which there's always pine trees around. So running barefoot you'd get... Yeah, I love throwing pine trees, my pine cones at my fellow runners when we're waiting for things. So I'll just chuck a pine cone at Brecken for no reason. Oh, I had a guy get... A, it was a really muddy course, and I had a guy, he stepped in the mud, and then when he came back, it flung straight at my face. Oh. oh. That's yummy. I didn't get hit, but it's close. it flung straight just at my face. You just gotta open your mouth and play some it. roulette. See what happens. <laughs> 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 that doesn't taste like mud. <laughs> what would mud taste like if it didn't taste like mud? What do you think? Do you I don't know, dirt? Cow poop. <laughs> but dirt. <laughs> dirt and mud taste the same. Yeah. 
Well, it depends what one's you wet like. before it goes in your mouth, and <laughs> one's wet when it's in your mouth. I love eating dirt. <laughs> um, what's the what's your least favorite feeling like in a race? What's your least favorite feeling? Like your legs hurt or whatever. Uh, probably the feeling that I'm falling way behind when I'm not. I like like Regions. Mrs. McNeil was yelling at me, and it was great. But she kept yelling me at, at yelling at me what place I was in, and so it threw me off. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna make it." In my head, and then I was like, "No, nope, I'm gonna make it." And I pushed and pushed, and I ended up what 16th. Seventeenth. Yeah, for one of my races, I think that was the worst feeling ever because I wear ONs when I run, I specifically the ones I have on right now. I got a rock stuck in between the two little bubbles in my ONs, and I, there, there's like a thinner piece of plastic on the bottom of them. I know, I've got a pair too. Well, yeah, but he doesn't. Um, and so you can, like, you can feel the rock each time you step. Yep. And it also, like, unbalances you. And I got a rock in there one time, but I can't, like, reach down and pluck out a rock mid-race. And so I'm just running and, like, halfway limping because I have a rock in my shoe. That sucked. Probably did. What? Probably did. Hmm. Guys, ready to go? I mean, I'm fine. Unless you got other questions for me. Well, I just figured because Rayanna and Bryn wanted to videotape still today. Mm. Well, okay, how do you sign it off? Um, um, I'm Josie. I'm Brecken. I'm Josiah. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off.